Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to another week of what's for dinner. Today's a very exciting one because I included a lot of, maybe not a lot, a couple. I dabbled into a, a number of fall recipes this week and I don't know about you but I am very clearly ready for fall. So I was trying out some new fall recipes and the next couple what's for dinners will have lots of new fall recipes in them as well because I'm ready, I am hoping, I'm decorated, I'm praying for cooler weather here in Texas and for fall just to kind of like engulf us. But today's video is also super exciting because it is a collab with Kristen Stepp here on YouTube. She was the very first person I watched um, What's For Dinner videos by and it was before there was really this huge like explosion of them and I remember thinking like this is such a cool concept like I am always at a loss for what to cook for dinner and she motivated me so much to just like want to cook for my family and I mean I always want to cook for my family but I don't always want to cook for my family you know what I'm saying it's been a long day I don't want to get in the kitchen but she, <laughs> she totally motivated me to want to cook yummy dinners to try new things she's an amazing cook and she just looks like she just spent so much time and effort you can tell how much she clearly loves her kids and her family um, but she has a ton of delicious recipes um, and tons and tons of what's for dinner videos so if you haven't already which I'm sure you have because she's like the queen of what's for dinner but if you haven't already please go subscribe to her I will leave all of her information below you will not regret it she's amazing and if any of you are here from Kristen's channel, I am so thankful to have you here. I make lots of what's for dinner videos, cook with me videos, daily life videos, mom related content. I also make plus size fashion videos, home decor videos, beauty videos, all that stuff. So if any of that strikes your fancy, I would love it if you subscribed. All right, enough of me rambling. Let's get started in the dinners. All right, friends. So we are starting with some nachos. Um, it was my husband's and I, like, little sneak date night we had just in our bedroom late at night with some movies. And so we're taking the Tostitos Hint of Lime Tortilla Chips, so delicious, and the Great Value Mild Wing Sauce. We have the Medium Wing Sauce, and we love it. We love the Mild as well. We also took some cheddar cheese. Um, I just baked these two chicken breasts in the oven. I literally just put seasoning on it and put them in the oven for, like, 20 minutes fully done, took them out, shredded them up. This is like the tenderest, most juicy chicken in the world. I definitely recommend you trying that way of baking if you need to shred a chicken. Um, and then I just topped it off with a ample amount of the wing sauce um, and stirred it around. I then placed my tortilla chips. I topped with the chicken mixture and then cheese. And then we added a ton more buffalo sauce and then homemade ranch. Now, of course, you could totally go with less sauce you could add more, you could add veggies. I think blue cheese would have tasted great in this. Um, some olives would have tasted good. You just totally add nachos are like the best part because you can just add what you want. Like I think shredded cheese would have tasted good on top. But guys, let me tell you, these were the best nachos I've ever eaten in my whole entire life. They were so good. So please try them if you're looking for a yummy nacho recipe for these fall football games coming up and tailgating highly recommend. This next meal makes me think of like a risotto type of idea. Um, it's a one pot chicken and rice. I will leave the recipe linked below. I found it on Pinterest. Basically, I'm just cutting up my onion and then I am also kind of not dicing quite, but just kind of cutting up my chicken into little chunks. And then I am just going to put a pot down with an ample amount of butter. Now this recipe is not a healthy recipe by any means, but it is perfect for those cozy like fall nights and be a really good dish to impress like a lady friend or a man friend, whoever friend with. It is so comforting and relaxing and delicious. So I just um, cooked those onions down um, in the butter and then I'm just adding the chunks of chicken. 
and cooking those all together. Um, I'm then going ahead and adding a very ample amount of garlic, which you'll see in a second, and I'm also seasoning it up. Now, this dish doesn't call for a lot of seasoning on the recipe, so I added Cajun seasoning. I feel like this is an awesome dish to kind of cater to the spice and the seasoning you want and just kind of play around with different things. I decided to go with Cajun, but you could have easily gone a completely different way and added like more Italian seasoning. You could have made this Mexican. You could have done so many different things. Next, you're going to need chicken broth and the long grain rice. I next time will not use long grain. I feel like it didn't fully cook. Um, the grain or the rice it was a tiny bit undercooked. Um, I will use short grain next time, but it called for long grain. Totally up to you. I just think next time I'll use short grain. After I mix it all together, it looked delicious. And then once it came to a boil, I then stirred it turned it on simmer and left the top off and let it do its thing. It was super easy, good one pot meal. And then I'm just taking these honey butter uh, Pillsbury biscuits. Oh my gosh, these were so good. I topped it with a little extra drizzle of honey. These were gone the first night. Oh my, love them. After everything was cooked down with my chicken, I then added some heavy whipping cream. You could have done something different if you would have liked. Um, and then I added Parmesan cheese on top and let it all kind of mix and melt together. And this was so comforting and delicious, like I said. Totally like makes me think of risotto and perfect for like a warm fall day. I just added a little bit more seasoning on top and we had it with that roll uh, or biscuit delicious guys so yummy you could totally jazz it up and have like asparagus on the side or do something fancy with it I loved it next we are having egg rolls in a bowl so I have some cabbage um, some chow mein noodles you don't have to add those they're just fun to add a little bit of crunch and a texture um, some sesame seed oil you also need some sort of vinegar I use white vinegar but it, it needs rice wine vinegar but honestly I didn't notice a big difference I use turkey matched carrots um, garlic and this Asian sweet chili sauce. I'm basically trying to recreate my egg roll in a bowl um, that I had on Home Chef, which I loved. And this is a recipe I found on Pinterest. I definitely will change it up a bit. For this recipe, it called to use the sesame oil to bake everything in, and it was way too pungent. I definitely would just add the, a tiny bit of sesame oil and use another oil to bake with it, like coconut oil or something, because this was crazy pungent. I would not recommend doing that. But I sauteed up my garlic my onion and now I am breaking up my ground turkey and cooking that together so it was a really easy meal it came together really fast um, and it was a bit lighter on the lighter side you could easily make it even healthier if you liked um, I would recommend next time instead of getting a whole head of cabbage like I did here um, I just ended up having that on hand I would have just bought a slaw mix because I think it's a lot easier because it also already has the carrots um, but this still was delicious I added a lot of carrots because I like a lot of carrots so I let them cook down first and then I added my cabbage on top mix it all together Together and let that um, cabbage kind of get a bit softer. Once again, I added that vinegar in. You just need a vinegar for acidity, but it doesn't need to be anything fancy. And then I put some soy sauce on top as well. This is reduced um, sodium soy sauce, once again, to your own preference. Um, and mix it together. And then I drizzled a little bit of that sweet chili sauce on top with some of the chow mein noodles. I put too many chow mein noodles on this bowl. But it was delicious. It really did come together. And I liked this recipe. I just would tweak it a tiny bit, but I still think the Home Chef one was better in my opinion. I do think this was great and light for the summer and will transition well into fall. All right, friends, it is date night tonight and I have some Ch Chicken Express that I have been craving for like a week now. Um, I feel like if you get the bigger entree plates, it's just a better buy and you always have leftovers. So we have orange chicken, chow mein, and some, in, some of their honey Walmart, oh, honey Walmart, honey walnut shrimp, which is also really yummy. My husband's got some Taco Bell and we are in our tent that we created with our twinkle lights and we're about to watch Harry Potter and uh, it is a good night. <laughs> this is our date night for 30 year olds while our kids are having a sleepover at my mom's. So we're about to dig in and this is what we're having for dinner tonight. 
All right, so I decided to start with um, an easy fall baking recipe. I just took this spice cake mix and a jar of pumpkin, and literally that's it. I found this on um, Pinterest for a Weight Watchers recipe, and it was delicious. I set my um, oven to 400, and then I just mixed the two things together. That was all it took. I did later add on a couple of white chocolate chips um, on a couple of the muffins just to get them nice and a little bit sweeter and melty um, and the girls ended up eating these for breakfast and they were really good but if you were doing like Weight Watchers or you just are trying to watch um, what you're eating and everything this is a perfect option for you they were delicious and totally got the apartment smelling amazing for fall and I was in like the best mood but like I said I just sprinkled these um, in the on top of the muffins and um, had it you know just you know, it was messy it was pretty messy but it worked out and they tasted great um, I do recommend refrigerating these because they are very very moist um, but other than that guys so delicious highly recommend perfect for an easy fall breakfast all right next we have our weekly Friday night dinners with my parents. Um, Ollie was helping make the salad with my mom and this is basically like a Frito salad is what we call it. We've had it for like ever. Um, but basically there's iceberg lettuce shredded up on there. Um, care, or, uh, tomatoes halved. Um, cheese shredded. My mom used Cobley Jack this time but you can use cheddar or what, whatever you want. Um, and then we put kidney beans. Um, ranch style beans and we top it with Fritos and then um, when you're ready to actually serve it then you top it all with a, cat a bottle of Catalina dressing and it is so good super just like it hits the spot every time um, I saw this like little trick thing on Pinterest for hot dogs and I decided to try it so I just kind of sliced them not all the way through but just so they had ridges and then I put them in a bag filled with ketchup Worcestershire sauce um, garlic I will leave the uh, thing, the link of the recipe below. Um, and I mushed them all together and we grilled them and they ended up tasting delicious. So I do recommend the recipe. I also tried these Lay's fried pickle chips with ranch and they were also really good. So if you've been kind of like on the fence and wanting to try them, I totally recommend them. I love trying new chips. It's like a hobby. I mean, it's a sad thing to say, but it's true. I love trying new chips out. Anyway, this is what we had for dinner. It was such a good like summer meal. I'm like over fall, but boy, do I still love like a good barbecue. So we had the Frito salad all come together right there. It's not pretty, but it tastes delicious. My grilled hot dog, we had some fruit salad and carrots with homemade ranch. And boy, was this meal just, just, I'm like starving right now. And that looks delicious. <laughs> Next, we had an easy meal. We had these turkey meat malls that you guys have recommended for us to try from Great Value. And we loved them. Do recommend them. I really like them. I also love the home style ones. And we use a Great Value jarred pasta sauce and then the corkscrew noodles and it was spaghetti for dinner and it was amazing also i have to include this clip because we had the spicy chicken nuggets from wendy's they were finally back i was so excited i was really disappointed when they took them off the menu and when they brought them back i knew we had to go and get them so that's what we had for dinner i know it's not healthy but boy was it a hit and success for my stomach i was so happy and let me know below if you are a frosty fry dipper like i am and the last meal for this what's for dinner is um, ham and cheese like pinwheels, if you will. Basically, you need some sort of lunch meat, um, a sliced cheese, and crescent dough sheets. You want the sheets because you want the full sheet. You could take the, um, what are they called, the croissant ones and just kind of pinch them together. But the sheet was just really easy. And then I just topped it with our ham. But like I said, you use whatever lunch meat that you would like. And then I put uh, multiple cheese slices on top of that. We use, I believe, Colby Jack. Um, and we rolled it up and we cut it into little slivers. Um, and put it in the oven. This was so good. Such a hit for the kids. This would be really easy for lunches for the week. Um, highly recommend this. I really liked it and the dough was delicious and flaky and just soft and gooey and great. Um, I got this recipe from Stacy over at Let's Cook Y'all. I love her channel. 
in her what's for dinner videos she did end up melting butter along with like honey mustard and Worcestershire sauce and stuff on top I just put some melted butter because I just wasn't feeling like a mustardy type base tonight um, or that night but you can do the mustard one if you'd like or whatnot I just liked the butter and it tasted so great um, and the kids loved them and here they are, nice and fresh out of the oven. We just had them with some fruit on the side. And that is going to be it for this What's For Dinner video, guys. Please make sure you go check out Kristen's channel. She's amazing, and you will love her if you haven't already found her. And thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. See you in the next one. Bye, guys.